Now I'm going to show you how to view expression data for different genes. So we're going to go down to the menu that talks about expression. Now there's lots of different ways of viewing this, but we're going to look at this one. So this is Inc RNA seq. So in your drop down, you've only got hide and show. Uh, this data set contains a lot of different tracks. So we need to actually click on the title of the track set and that takes us to a menu here. So this INC stands for ENCODE, so ENCODE is an international consortium of many labs and the labs agreed they would focus on a subset of cell lines, common cell lines, and they'd also study sub a subset of the genome, it's about 10% of the genome, and they would all do RNA-seq and histone modifications and DNAs1 mapping and things like that, so all their data could be mapped together and analysed together. So we don't want to look at all this RNA-seq data, it would be too much. So we're going to focus on the RNA-seq data from Caltech. So we want these down here to say hide. This one we're going to click full and we're going to click the box. We're also going to click on the Caltech link itself. And this takes us to the different samples that they have. So here we have the different cell lines they've used. And some are called tier one and tier two. So these are the cell lines agreed by the ENCODE consortium. And these are other cell lines down here. So I would suggest that you tick the boxes for the tier one and two, two, tier two cell lines, but not the others. Then we don't need to see all their different replicates. So I would just click the ones in this first column because these other two are gonna be similar. Again, we don't need to see all their replicates. So just check the first replicate. We want to see the full data set there. So now we're going to click Submit. OK, so now we have lots of different tracks from all those different cell lines. Um, and here we can see in this K562 cell line, we have some expression of this particular gene. But we don't have much signal from anything else. So, and that is because uh, beta globin is only expressed in red blood cells or immature red blood cells. So we're going to switch to a different gene type. We're going to look at actin, which you ex hope to be expressed in all of these cell types. So I'm going to click act B, act B to actin, and I'm going to zoom out so we can view it nicely within our window. So now we have lots of data. And so we can see here for these two slides here, we have peaks of signals. So these are reads from the RNA-seq and the reads line up with the exons and not with the introns. Now for these cell lines, we can't see the tops of the peaks. They're truncated with a pink bar because the scale is too short. So to fix this, if you go over and hover over the left hand side of a track, right click, you can configure an individual track. So if you click configure, you get this sort of menu. You can change the track height. So that's just the height of the track within the image. But the one I want you to look at is here, data view scaling. So it's currently set, use vertical viewing range, so it's set from 1 to 10. However, the maximum within this data set is over 200,000, so it's not going to show you the height of that peak. So you can either change that number to something much bigger, or you can change this to auto scale, and then it automatically scales it to accommodate the size of the data that you've got. So if we're doing it for that data set, now we can see all those peaks. You do have to watch out that by auto scale, you end up with different scales on the y-axis for different tracks. So it can be hard to compare. So you can do this for all your tracks if you want. Another thing you can do, if you go right click and go to configure the whole track set, and now we change the display mode to dense instead of full. Let's see what that does. OK, so now we don't have those peaks and profiles. We've just got a shading where a dark colour means lots of reads and white means no reads. So these cell lines have very high expression of actin, whereas these ones up here don't have such a high expression of actin. So this can be a very quick way of getting an overview of which cell lines express the gene and which ones do not.